Okay, in today's video, I will share with you what I was eating for a week to lose four and a half kilo. Uh, so it's obviously a very, a lot of, a big amount of weight in a short period of time. I was on a very restrictive diet. And so it's very important that you're aware that you cannot do the diet for longer than one week. And only after a month, you can go back to the diet. The diet should be followed by a healthy eating. So you don't put the weight back on very quickly um, and what else you have to be aware of is that it's very restricted diet obviously um, with low calories no exercise allowed which is actually good and also the good thing about the diet was that I didn't have to count any calories I will show in this video every single uh, day so seven days of what I was eating um, and so you can achieve similar uh, results hopefully I lost four and a half kilo within a week uh, obviously, your result might be different, depends on the person, depends how much, uh, you know, uh, weight you've got to lose. Uh, everyone is different, just be aware of that. Uh, I'm just sharing my, my own experience, obviously. Uh, in the comments below, uh, I will leave exactly what you're allowed to eat, what you're not. This is uh, called chemical diet, also called... Uh, hospital diet and uh, why where, where's the name is coming from basically the name is coming from that from the obviously as a hospital diet for a, a patient who needed to lose um, a lot of weight before surgery in a short period of time so without further ado let's get started <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start with the breakfast and for breakfast we've got two tomatoes both grilled and cut in half so we've got two of them and one slice of bread normal white bread one but uh, you can have more than two tomatoes if you wanted to so we've got tomatoes grilled one slice of brown white bread uh, obviously if you don't like white bread you can get a slice of different bread whatever you like um, doesn't matter just one slice don't go and eat more than one slice of bread that's important and we're gonna have a cup of coffee it has to be a black coffee if you don't like black coffee you can have green tea uh, but it just has to be uh, obviously a black coffee no milk no sugar no added anything okay we're going to moving on to lunch this is our lunch so for lunch you can you're allowed to have any amount of fruit so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm having obviously. So I'm having some strawberries, green apple and one banana and you can have as much as you want. So you don't have to have exactly uh, what I'm eating, uh, any fruit so you can have any type of fruit you want and any amount as well. So any amount of fruit, any fruit you want, any type, not only those which I'm having. Obviously I'm just gonna show you what I'm having but anything, any fruit you like. Okay, after my lunch, I decided to have a cup of tea. I made the um, jug of tea. Uh, it's a green tea with lemon. Uh, so just normal uh, green tea with lemon. Um, I squeezed some lemon juice as well. So I'm gonna drink that to make me feel full. And that's it. You're allowed, obviously, a herbal tea. So, and any amount. So as long as you're not adding any sugar or any honey, anything else to it, you're fine. Any herbal teas are fine. Or black tea or black coffee so i'm gonna have some tea okay for dinner we've got two hard boiled egg i have boiled six of them because i'll eat them for next two days so just cook six at once i boil them about eight to ten minutes top and you're gonna get them hard boiled uh grapefruit um i'm not gonna use whole grapefruit because it's massive and i don't really like grapefruit so i'm gonna use half of a grapefruit and a salad to go with it so we're gonna use iceberg lettuce as much as you want you can have a salad and um, so i'm gonna use probably half of this or maybe whole bag two tomatoes i'm gonna use and a half of a cucumber but you can eat as much as you want of salad but it has to be two eggs and has to be grapefruit if you don't like any of these ingredients, uh, you can do without them, but you can't substitute them for anything else. So, we're gonna have our dinner now. Okay, this is our dinner. So, we've got two hard boiled eggs and half of um, 
grapefruit half of grapefruit you can use of course whole grapefruit i just know that i'm not gonna eat whole so i just got half of grapefruit and then we've got a salad which is lettuce iceberg lettuce half of a cucumber and two tomatoes you can eat as much as you want of a salad so i know that this is gonna be huge for me so i'm not gonna be able to eat any more of that day two okay uh, breakfast day number two we've got two hard boiled eggs and we've got grapefruit i'm gonna have half because i don't like them that much and we've got black coffee and i had only one egg not two correction because my child preferred an egg boiled egg rather than a toast okay for lunch we've got some tomatoes and some roasted chicken you can have any amount of chicken you want and as much as tomatoes as you want as well so i've got the cherry tomatoes here and that's our lunch Okay, for dinner we've got a massive salad because you can have as much as you want. So we've got the lettuce, cucumber and tomatoes. I use cherry tomatoes on this one. Alexa. We've got massive steak, so this one is huge as you can see. Proper expensive one, but I thought I'd gonna treat myself. And then we've got a massive teapot of tea. So that will definitely make me full. So that's second day finished. Okay, this is our steak. I like it medium rare and looks really good like in a restaurant. Okay, breakfast, day number two, we've got two hard boiled eggs and we've got grapefruit. I'm gonna have half because I don't like them that much. And okay, for food. lunch we've got some tomatoes and two, uh, it sort of should be poached eggs but it doesn't matter as long as you've got two eggs. So I've got two hard boiled eggs uh, and some two tomatoes in here. I added a bit of salt, which is fine I guess, it shouldn't, it shouldn't season but it's fine. And of course our coffee. So two eggs and two tomatoes for lunch. Okay, for a dinner we've got some cucumber. I have cut half of a cucumber here. You can have as much as you want of cucumber and celery. I don't like celery, so I'm just gonna have a cucumber and steak. I don't. Okay, morning of day four, and we've got the real feast. Two toasts and two eggs hard boiled, and of course black coffee whole cup. So I can't complain today pretty good day. okay this is our lunch so we've got any amount of fruit so we've got some blueberry one green apple and banana so that uh that is our lunch okay this is our dinner so we've got two hard boiled eggs and half of um grapefruit half of grapefruit you can use of course whole grapefruit i just know that i'm not gonna eat whole so i just got half of grapefruit and then we've got a salad okay we are on day five breakfast and we've got a slice of toast as you can see just one slice of toast and we allow two eggs but i can't stand eggs anymore so it will be because i will have eggs for lunch as well um so i'm just gonna have a toast and a black coffee for breakfast number five and also because i had a headache uh, last time after day three i don't have it anymore but i got myself a bottle this is a bottle air up it's called i've got a little discount for it so i'll put it in the first comment below the video but this is uh, basically play, uh, drinking plain water because that's all you're allowed so plain water but it has like a smell pot uh, in this part so basically you think that you are uh, drinking flavored water like a peach for example or apple but in fact you're just drinking plain water the bottle looks really cool too uh, they do have it in different colors unfortunately i can't show you properly because uh, look how awful is outside so we're gonna have a breakfast and move on to lunch later okay for lunch we've got some tomatoes and two uh, it sort of should be poached eggs but it doesn't matter as long as you've got two eggs so I've got two hard boiled eggs uh, and some two tomatoes in here. I added a bit of salt, which is fine, I guess. It shouldn't, it shouldn't season, but it's fine. And of course, our coffee. So two eggs and two tomatoes for lunch. Okay, for dinner tonight, we've got plate of salad, tomato, cucumber, and some lettuce, glass of ice water, and we're gonna have some tuna. I use this one, John West tuna tuna with spring water. Um, no drain less mess it's really nice and obviously it has to be in the spring water no oil so this one is the best tuna it tastes like meat seriously it's so good so one of them and then a salad for me this is how this tuna looks it's like proper nice not dry 
um, tuna, like the best quality you can get of tuna out there. And a salad. Yummy. Breakfast number six, two half boiled eggs and a glass of grapefruit juice. Uh, this one is with bits, not from concentrate. This uh, juice is pure squeezed pink grapefruit juice, never from concentrate and with bits. So you can drink that grapefruit juice throughout your diet. So one glass, you can have more and two eggs. Not too bad, it's honestly, it's only two days left so I'll be celebrating soon so let's do it. Okay, this is our lunch. So we've got any amount of fruit. So we've got some blueberry, one green apple and banana. So that, uh, that is our lunch. So okay. for dinner number six, we've got some carrots and some roasted chicken. Uh, probably not gonna eat the skin, but it's a bit burned that one, but it's fine. So got roasted chicken as much as you want and carrots. Dinner number six and we've got only one day left to go. Oh yes. Okay, finally we've got last breakfast and we've got some scrambled eggs, two scrambled eggs and some it's supposed to be grilled tomatoes, but I was just gonna have fresh tomatoes, so it's gonna be quick. And we've got black coffee, of course. So that's our last breakfast. Yay! Okay, my last lunch on day seven is two boiled eggs. You can have two poached eggs and a bed of spinach. So spinach and of course my coffee. Okay, for a dinner we've got some cucumber. I have cut half of a cucumber here. You can have as much as you want of cucumber and celery. I don't like celery, so I'm just gonna have a cucumber and steak. I done my steak uh, medium rare because that's how I like it. And I done it on George Foreman grill. Um, it's a really good one. You don't need any fat and obviously you're not allowed any fat. So this is our steak I will let it rest for a little bit, but it's really good quality massive steak juicy Okay, so that's our dinner and I'll see you guys tomorrow